Frauscher, ex Porsche guys. This has been a really, really fun day today. So this has been going to be quite an exciting video for you. But um, in the past, electric boats haven't personally got me very excited. But this is a boat that I can get excited about and hopefully you can too. So welcome to Majorca. Um, why don't, there's a party going on as you can probably hear. Come with me and let's go show you guys a little bit more detail with this boat. So come on over here. Don't mind the, the models, seems to be a thing that we have here in Spain. I'm not complaining. Um, excuse me, girls, hello everyone. So we're actually got a little event with Porsche. They're, they've got a few cars on display here, a couple of electric ones and some of the classics as well. And the reason why I'm quite excited about this boat is because it is a collaboration with Porsche. It's a fully electric speedboat. Frauscher is doing the boat and Porsche is doing the drive system. Why don't we come over this side and we'll get, a, get away from some of the noise. Um, get a look at it. You've probably seen a few Frauschers on my channel before. They're freaking sexy. And what they have done, just look at those lines. Just, just appreciate that. What they've done, they've taken the battery pack and the motor from a Macan. I believe it's an electric Porsche. Don't hold me to that, I'm no Porsche expert. And there's gonna be other videos where some of the techie dudes get into all the tech details. I'm not great with the electrical side of things, but I am good with how the thing drives through the water. And we've done that. That's gonna be in this video if you just keep watching. So what they've done, they've taken the battery pack and they've got the Porsche motor, and because the thing is so bloody powerful, they've actually had to dull it down a little bit. They've had to reduce the power, send it through a transmission and into the stern drive, which we can just see. Just come down a little bit closer. You can maybe just see the stern drive, counter-rotational mercury prop on the back of the boat. So she's a single motor and a bow thruster. We did. <laughs> We did 77 kilometers an hour. It can do 100, but they, they had to dull it down. It's seriously fun. So you, this is, if you're into performance speed boats, this will absolutely do it for you, but it's not gonna be for everyone. What it doesn't have, it doesn't have range. So it's gonna be for people who have a big boat because you're gonna fit it into the tender garage really, really well. It's gonna be for people who probably have a villa or are on a, a beautiful lake somewhere with environmental restrictions that's kind of my take so you're if you have a specific use or a need for something cool like this then that's going to do it don't look at this and be like range is so important to me if that's important to you then just go look at a, a traditional frasher but come on and look at some of the details so we've got all the traditional frasher styling and you can probably you probably get about nine people on this boat i would say but just have a quick look at the dash that's been designed by the Porsche team. So you've got a Porsche steering wheel, you have the Porsche gauges there, and then the throttle is not what I've seen on other boats before. It's very ergonomic. And then the, the, the interior design, wraparound seating, traditional engine bay, that hinges up like this. You can get into all the mechanical side of things in there. Got the swim ladder, got the ski pole. You, yeah, you possibly could tow someone, but not for very long. That's probably a bit more of a gimmick. Beautiful platform out the back here, where you are, definitely gonna board people. So I think what we'll do, come with us. Let's go for a quick spin. You'll see it's a, gonna be a bit of a costume change because I filmed that early in the day for you. See what you think about the performance. And then if I can grab him in between the music and the drinks, we might get Stefan Frauscher, the owner of Frauscher Motor Yachts, and we'll talk to him about the design and see what else we can learn. Check in soon. So I'm starting this test in Sport Plus mode, guys. There's three of us on board. We are at 74% state of charge. We started at 92% when we left the dock and we've done a drone shoot. So we've been zipping up and down a number of times. That's what we do in all these shoots. Um, and I'll just read out the state of charge uh, when I get to the end of this test as well. Uh, but I really want to uh, convey to you the overall driving experience because I think there's a lot of guys who are perhaps more tech nerds uh, than I am and they can cover some of the electrical stuff because basically, I don't care that much. I just want a cool experience, something fun and something different. And I think some of you who are watching this channel might be of the same opinion. So. Just accelerating now, still in the Sport Plus. I got kilometers per hour, not nautical miles, and I'm doing that at 37 
which feels comfortable. Feels comfortable. The weight distribution of the battery um, is quite forward compared to a fuel tank, so the boat feels like she's quite level at the moment. We're just just want to let you know we are in choppy water. We're not in smooth conditions whatsoever. I'm just going to come over here and then I'm going to hook a turn and then I'm going to test higher speed coming back down swell. So I'm going to hook through a turn now. Doing that 40 kilometers an hour, increasing, increasing power, nice heel. This is this is what excites me about this particular electric boat. I have to say, overall, electric boats of the past never really excited me because they don't go fast. They don't do much, but this thing, going through the waves, has got a sporty feel to it. Now I've got some flat water. Let's just accelerate a little bit. Yeah, feel the torque, feel the pickup there. I'll just play with the drive a little bit. I'm sitting on 50 kilometers an hour right now. Gonna just secure my hat through a couple of waves feels predictable. Okay, this next turn, I'm gonna go a little bit faster and go as fast as I dare going down the waves. Okay, doing that at 47, increasing power. Gotta work the waves here, got a little bit of work to do. 43, swells nice. Responsive, fun. Listen to that whir of the motor. Landing softly, give it some. Here's my, here's my angle. That's full throttle now, a little bit of a trim up. Oh hey, hey, the acceleration's blistering. We just hit 70. That's that's my runway. I've got to slow down before the next set of waves. Oh wow, that, that was into fun. There's three of us on board here and we just hit 70 kilometers an hour in bugger all run up and some swell there. Let's just drop the drive. She really hooks into it. You can give it some. Wow. So, my state of charge is 67% from 74. Not real world conditions, I suspect, for what many of you are going to be utilizing this boat for, but what did I just learn? Uh, if you need to take it out in a little bit of short and sharp chop, you can. If the wind picks up uh, and you still got to get home from your destination, you can. Um, I see this boat being incredibly relevant for so many of you guys in the lake situations where you have environmental controls. I've encountered quite a few of those destinations, especially here in Europe. I don't know if they exist in America or Australia. Um, drop in the comments and tell me if they do. Um, but that seems really, really sensible. And I also, having just come from the south of France, um, big boats, big boat situation. This is a perfect tender. It's not gonna take up too much space in your garage. The noise levels are virtually non-existent. We could hold a conversation here totally fine. So, uh, I mean, I was running some Yami 450s the other day in, in Khan, and you doing 23 knots, we'll be shouting at each other. Completely different experience. This feels luxurious so if you're doing those tender uh, pick up and drop offs those short runs if you've got a destination that you frequent from your villa and let's face it most of you don't go very far you know i see that here in majorca i see it in the south of france i even see it in sydney harbour i don't see this being super uh relevant for sydney harbour and i can talk about that more on my patreon if you're interested but i definitely see it relevant in many of the lake situations, maybe even up in Jindabyne, if we're talking about Australia. Um, this could be something unique and special if you've got a, a beautiful custom house uh, to go with it. Um, that was interesting. Biggest takeaway, acceleration. Noticeable more than many comparable petrol inboards that I have driven. Just want to see if we hit it. All right, down wave, full acceleration test, 41. A Little bit of a trim up on the drives. We do have waves, so we may not be able to achieve this. I'm already at 60. A Little bit of trim up on the drives. 66, more waves. That's a big wave there. Skipping over it, 71 and climbing, 73, 75. 
<laughs> 77, running out of water. Last wave. 77. In waves. <laughs> 77. Yeah, we. I mean, we were. Perfect. Yeah. <laughs> Stefan Frasher. Hello. <laughs> Thank you <laughs> yeah. so much good, for inviting me good, again. Good to meet you again, then. Yeah, that was, that was <laughs> um, really, really fun day. I, I said to you before, personally, I've never gotten too excited about electric mm -hmm. speedboats because the ones that I'd experienced were not that exciting. But after today, on your boat, that's something I could get excited about. It's It's got all the speedboat characteristics mm -hmm. that I'm used to, and it's actually got a little bit more. That acceleration was blisteringly quick. Yeah, thank you very much. You know, normally it takes 10 years that the new technology from the car industry comes to the marine industry. But uh, as we can uh, have this cooperation with Porsche now, yep. and we can use the latest technology from the new electric Macan, uh, I really think we have the, the, the best electric boat on the market worldwide at the moment. So this means acceleration is top. Uh, top speed, we we did more than 100 kilometers per hour in our tests, but in the serial product, you, we reduced you it. dialed it down. We dialed it down. Yeah. Um, we did 77 the, today in waves. In, in waves, yeah. Like in big, big waves. Yeah. So uh, <laughs> um, uh, the, the torque is just crazy. Yeah. We also had to reduce this. We are using now... Um, from from rear cruiser racing uh, um, stern drive because the other ones just were not strong yep. enough. Yep. So everything you expect from a normal power boat you have on the boat. Yep. This means um, uh, and additionally uh, no smell. Yeah. Uh, fully to reduced. Have uh, yeah. Fully reduced noise and uh, uh, the only thing is missing and we also have to 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 take uh, to talk. Uh, uh, honest about that uh, is the is the range. Yes. So uh, it's not for every region. Yeah. But as a tender to super yachts, as a boat on uh, on lakes or even uh, on coastal areas where you have the right uh, charging infrastructure, yep. uh, it works. And maybe in some areas we are maybe five years ahead. Yeah. But somebody has to start. Yes. And uh, innovation is one of our key. Uh, uh, targets in uh, at Frauscher, yep. and so we are really proud to have this uh, this boat in our range. I mean, it's it's like all your boats. I must say, it looks good from every angle. And for me, and I think for a lot of you guys watching, boating is a bit of an emotive experience because you you dream about this, you yep. dream about what you're going to do on the weekend, and this is something I can dream about because it every every uh, part of the experience yep. is fun. So um, let's take it back a step. How did this collaboration between you and Porsche, whose idea was this? How did, mm -hmm. how did this all come about? Yeah, uh, Three years ago, uh, we got a call from Porsche and they told us they want to do something in the marine business. And uh, if you're interested, okay. we tried to hide our... <laughs> yeah, you know, we were really yeah. excited about that. But then the, the next question was, why? What's, what's your goal? And then they explained to us uh, that Porsche wants to do also something beyond uh, automotive. Yep. So um, the image of Porsche is still petrol 911, yep. but more and more high-end uh, luxury electric uh, cars come on the market. And uh, they want to show that uh, electric uh, mobility, that they take this really serious. Yeah. And so Oli Blume, the CEO, uh, told them, hey, I think it's a good idea to do this also in boating because uh, we want to to have this luxury um, factor, we we want to position the new Macan also a little bit higher. Yep. Uh, we share the same uh, customers, yep. and uh, to show green technology on the water is really something very emotional. Yep. And uh, and so they they, they, they 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 were searching for the right partner, and uh, then they called us as we were doing electric boats since 1955. Yeah. And yeah, and then. Uh, we, we, we found out that this, uh, it's a perfect match because Porsche and Frausche are sharing the same values, performance, innovation, design, family spirit. Yep. And, uh, and also additionally, what uh, we had to tell them later on, my 
uh, my grandfather was building boats already for the Porsche family. Oh, really? So we have a long history together with them. Awesome. But these new guys have known that. Yeah. But uh, Porsche was founded in Austria and, yeah. uh, and we, we are an Austrian company. So there is also a long tradition behind. So am I reading between the lines, is this the beginning of a, a journey of boats for Porsche? Is this, is this what we can understand? Uh, this is something uh, I, I can't totally tell now. We right. now agreed on 25 uh, units for this okay. as a first edition here. And uh, we agreed that after this 25, we look forward. Okay. Uh, we, we have some more ideas, but uh, this is something I think we can, uh, can talk about that in one, two years. Yep. Uh, and we always, like always, step by step. Yep. And now we have this project with these 25 pieces and then, then see what's coming next. Okay, well, I'm excited. Um, if, if you have a clear mission in mind, you, you raised it about the range, if you clearly understand how you boat, whether it's off your big boat uh, to the shore, whether you've got a nice villa on a lake, you know, think about how you boat. I'm always trying to tell you guys in the channel, think about your mission, because if you know that the restaurant you go to or the bay that you love or the nightclub that you like to visit or the day club is only X amount of miles away and that's yeah, let's be yeah. honest, that's how most people yeah. boat. Yeah. Um, when you understand that mission quite clearly and you have the ultimate dream in mind, then this is actually quite a fun toy for it. Because yeah. you, you know, having just had the day on the boat, you, you, you're left with a smile from ear to ear. It's, it gives you the feedback that I personally am always looking for, not like electric boats that I've tried in the past, which were boring. Basically, look, uh, I haven't tried your other electric boat, so I can't <laughs> no, comment no, on but, them. But, uh, <laughs> uh, but you're totally right. We also, if somebody comes to us and uh, asks us about uh, a new boat, we ask him, "What's your perfect day on on the water?" It's so and crucial. And then, and then uh, you find out. In some areas, the electric boat is the best boat you can get. Yep. But in some areas, maybe it's the power boat. Yep. But uh, ask yourself this question: What's what you do on the water? How many people are there? Uh, what's your goal and then what's your mission as you said yeah. and then you will make your right decision awesome all right well thanks for the chat you yeah. got a lot of people who want to talk to you here tonight so I appreciate the time perfect a lot thank of you. fun once thank again you. yeah yeah, yeah look yeah. I appreciate okay. it thank, thank you. you okay bye, -bye. bye.